It's 2.15. Kendall Williams laces up her track spikes for another day at the office. Practice means this heptathlete's day is on halfway over. I wake up at about 7.40 in the morning, like say this is a Monday morning. Um, I eat my bagel and then I go to class at 9.05 and then I go to the training room for rehab and treatment at about 10, 10.15. And then I um, usually take a nap or like study, do homework until about 11.30. I always go eat lunch at Snelling at 11.30. Um, and then I leave for class at 12, because I have class at 12.20. And then after class, I'm back in the training room um, until about 2.30, and then I have practice. But she does see a familiar face every day. Her older brother, Devin, a Georgia decathlete. The two siblings have a slightly different story on how they began running and ended up at Georgia. I think he was eight and I was seven at that time. I started running track when I was about seven, she was about six. And we were in Rome, Georgia for some travel baseball game. We've been um, competing with each other our whole life. The boys started racing and so I decided that I wanted to race too so I kicked off my sandals and I outran them all except for my brother. So after that my parents were like we need to find somewhere for this girl to run. It was only right for us to come to the same college and continue uh, running with each other and just competing with each other alongside each other. Georgia won the Kendall Williams sweepstakes three years ago thanks to Devin and head coach Petros Kiprianu. Being here a year before she got here I was able to experience um, the coaching and the college life here so I, I relayed that information to her. Having her seeing his development and uh, you know and all the hard work he's putting in and, and he's paying off he made her recruitment easier. Ultimately it was her decision to come here though, um, but I did definitely play a big role in that. However, she's a very, she was a very high level recruit coming out of high school, so everybody wanted to sign her. Today, she spent most of practice working on the javelin throw, her weakest heptathlon event. Why did the javelin go she admits that she can't rely purely on her strength. Luckily, Williams already knows the importance of humility. Just knowing that there's always someone better out there, so you can't be lax, you can't, there's no reason to be cocky because that very next week someone can come and better their score, which will be ahead of your score. Tough, but not as much as you can. Oh, get under it. The thing that people don't see is, is her goofy side. They only see her serious side when she's competing against other people, when she has to be serious. She finished a light day of practice with one more trip to the training room. She already qualified for a trip to the 2016 Olympic trials in July with a score of 6,223 points in the heptathlon. What would the Olympics mean to you? That would mean so much because that's something you always dream about as a kid and you watch it on TV every four years and you never think you can actually get to that point. So it's cool that I actually have the standard and have the opportunity to get to the trials. So if I'm able to go to the Olympics, um, especially at 20 years old, being so young, uh, that would be that would be incredible. She must first get past the SEC Outdoor Championships in May and NCAA Outdoor Championships in June. She received runner up honors in both meets last year. But if she competes in the Olympics, she'll have her name written in stone along with these former Georgia track and field Olympic athletes.